We're expecting a spell of very unsettled, disturbed weather to develop during the second half of this coming weekend and to persist through much of next week. Before that happens though, we've got some uh, rather changeable weather to get rid of to begin with, which is some rain across the southeast of England this, this coming night, Friday into Saturday, which could take much of Saturday before it finally gets away into the North Sea. So the southeastern parts of England, it could be rather disappointing for much of Saturday. Elsewhere though, with the exception of one or two light showers near western coasts, it's essentially a fine day with some spells of sunshine following a rather chilly start in places. Now trouble's brewing upstream in the Atlantic, here we see this mass of orange colours here which denotes warm tropical air from quite low latitudes. That's drifting northeastwards and forming this area of low pressure. Now initially that's on the warm side of the jet stream which is a non-developmental kind of area of the atmosphere. But by the time we get through to Saturday night and Sunday you can see it drifts onto the cold side of the jet stream. So this low pressure develops rather more explosively and deepens to around about 966 hectopascals. So it increases the flow on its southern flank and pushes fronts into the UK. So for Sunday then, things go downhill fairly quickly. Across the south and east, it could take until the afternoon before the rain arrives, but the further north and west you go, the sooner things will deteriorate. So some heavy spells of rain spreading in from the west. Uh, the upslopes of western Scotland and northwest England will see most of the rain, where 20 to 40 millimetres is likely, slightly lesser amounts elsewhere, and that will affect the Great North Run as well. At the same time, winds will pick up, and you can see the isobars becoming close together. That denotes some, uh, some stronger winds, but initially, that stronger flow is within this warm air mass, which is prone to being fairly stable and not liable to be gusty. However, as this cold front comes through and introduces this colder air mass, shown by the green colours, here we've got cold air running over warmer seas, which is like uh, turning on the heat under a pan of soup. It starts to bubble, turns unstable, and here we see the, uh, the gusty sort of conditions develop. And that feeds into much of Scotland overnight into Monday. Uh, here we like to see gusts of uh, 50 to 60 miles an hour quite frequently, and perhaps locally 70 miles an hour over some of the coasts and hills and exposed areas. At the same time, frequent heavy and quite squally showers that come through. So the winds will tend to gust up during the showers and then perhaps drop off a little bit in between. So coming and going in a rather gusty sort of nature. But by Monday, the, the greatest strength really is across the central belt of Scotland through the north of Northern Ireland down to the Irish Sea into parts of North West England and North Wales. Further south and west you go, slightly lighter the winds are going to be and, and the fewer showers are going to be. Beyond that though, things stay fairly unsettled into, into next week with further Atlantic weather systems queuing up to affect us, so spells of rain alternating with showers, windy at times and often on the cool side.